So we're here with a brand new specialized tarmac, gonna be ridden by Peter Sargon in the Tour de France. And I'm joined by Chris Yee from Specialized, who's gonna talk me through, or talk us through the brand new bike. So Chris, this is a sixth generation tarmac, a lot of change to the, the previous model. What are the, uh, the key details on the new bike? Well, I think the biggest thing for us is, it represents the first time in our opinion that there's a bike that breaks the notion of single category performance. Okay. You know, for the longest time, people talk about lightweight bikes or aero bikes. But this, we spent a lot of time to legitimately bring in performance in all of those areas. Okay. So it's got, it's light, it's got true aero performance, yep. it's compliant, okay. as well as being the cornerstone of Tarmac, which is the rider first hand handling. Okay. And it's a big weight saving over the uh, previous model, 200 grams lighter than the... At the least. Model. And so our, what we're saying is the 56 frame weighs 733 grams. Wow. That's very light. So yeah. how have you achieved that weight loss then? Where, where's that come from? We've done a lot in terms of making the tubes more efficient in the shaping, use some more advanced material, as well as the composite layout process is much, much more detailed. So the previous bike used 300 pieces of carbon to design. Okay. We now use 500 wow. on okay. this bike. Okay. And uh, I, I gave you work with McLaren again on the development of this bike. We learned a lot from them. So f years and years back, we worked with them to design the McLaren Venge. Okay. And that was kind of the epitome in terms of composite design. And so we've brought actually all of that process and tool in-house okay. and use that same exact process to develop this bike. Okay. So you talked about uh, aerodynamics. You've learned a few lessons from the Venge. Uh, the biggest change I can see are the drop seat stays. What, what's the... Um you try to add air for free, I think that's what you Absolutely. Tried to do. So the seat stays is one of the features and what we did was we tried to figure out where can we bring in aero performance okay. with literally zero impact to weight or stiffness. And so we're able to do that with the seat stays, a very, very unique seat post and seat tube shape that is both lightweight and significantly aero, okay. as well as a fork shape. And so the combination of those features along with some minor tweaks on the other tubes of the bike represent uh, 45 second savings between 10 and 15 watts at race speeds over a traditional lightweight bike of this class. Okay. And, you, and you say you've also worked on comfort and it, it's more compliant than the previous model? That, that was really important to us too. A bike you just have to, it's a handling feature as well as just a five hour co comfort okay. feature. And so even though the post is not round, we've engineered the upper 120 millimeters of it to significantly deflect. Okay. And so the system compliance is actually higher than our previous bike with the standard round post. Okay, so um, how does it compare to the Venge in terms of aerodynamics then? So compared to our first generation Venge, this actually is the same aerodynamic performance. Okay. So it, it really competes with aerodynamic bikes yeah. out of market today. Okay. Um, compared to the Venge Vias, that bike is still a little bit faster. So really when it's a flat sprint stage, that's the bike. Yeah. But for everything else, this brings in really true aero performance. Okay. And uh, as well as the rim brake version, I think there's going to be a disc brake version. We haven't seen that yet. What's, um, what can you tell us about that? Well, we're always uh, working on disc, and so that bike we, we are slated to have early in 2018. But for now, we want to support our race teams with what we know is absolutely legal for racing this year. Okay. And, and for an athlete like uh, Peter Sagan and the rest of his teammates, how, how does he choose a bike now? Is this more aero than the previous model? Does it make choosing the bike easier or more tricky? Uh, I would say it makes it a little bit easier because there's racing has gotten so much more extreme in the past years where at some stages you have extreme climbs and extreme flats with wind on the same stage. And so for those stages, this is the perfect bike. Uh, for the true flat sprint ones, the Venge will still be the bike. But for everything else, we'll see Peter on this most of the time. Okay. And do you fancy Peter's chances in this Tour de France then? I think he's going to do super, super great and we can't wait to see him on this one. Okay. So there we go. That's a brand new specialized uh, tarmac going to be ridden by Peter Sagan over the coming three weeks and uh, stay tuned for, to race C for more uh, tech from the Tour de France.